it's turned into a battle, it seems like to me, between uh, the red shirt people and the hunters, which it shouldn't ever be. A lot of passionate folks took to the microphones in Pickens County about a statewide tethering bill. Representative Davey Hyatt held the town hall this evening. The legislation regulates tethering and would supersede any local laws. 7 News reporter Nikkel Smith explains how the community feels about the proposed changes. We're all on the same page. Nobody wants to have dogs mistreated. Brian Medlin from Pickens was one of the many hunters speaking at a town hall about a statewide tethering bill. S Bill number 841 defines tethering as a means to confine a dog by attaching it to a stationary object using a chain, rope, cable, trolley, running line, or any similar device. It puts stipulations on what you can and can't do when it comes to chaining up your dog, your animal. The bill bans tethering that does not give the dog access to adequate food, water, shade, or shelter. Representative Davey Hyatt says it would give a clearer direction to law enforcement. It would bring in the line what all these counties are, are attempting to do. The main thing we're he says tonight's town hall was an effort to inform the community. It was a great turnout. I mean, absolutely great conversation. People dressed in red to support the bill, including Robin Mitchell, who drove to the Pickens Performing Arts Center from Aiken. What this bill is, is against the abusive tethered dogs. Um, this bill is not against tethering at all. It's just, and it's not against chaining dogs. Some people say the bill needs clarifications. That's the vagueness. The bill says you can't use a tether that exceeds one eighth of the dog's body weight. A 60 pound pit bull is a lot stronger than a 60 pound Labrador. Both sides saying they want what's best for the animals in their lives. Reporting in Pickens County, Nickel Smith, 7 News. The bill also addresses other issues like adequate shelter. It has already passed the Senate. You can read all the proposed changes tonight on WSPA.com.